Ray, the, uh, the first win at home this season. Your thoughts? Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted for uh, for everybody. Um, you know, I'm delighted for the players, the fans, the club, everybody. It's been a long time coming. Um, we probably probably should have had it done by now with some good performances early in the season at home, Ross County and things like that. So it was important we got it, um, you know, and today was the day, so thankfully it's happened. Uh, another new formation this week, almost at a 4-4-3 when we were in attack. Um, I thought we looked a lot more dangerous with that movement of the front three up top. Yeah, um, we're obviously aware that Stephen Dobby and Lyndon Dykes are a, a very, very, very potent partnership and they link very, very well. So, you know, we made the decision to play Abdul Osman sitting right in front there and I thought he'd done a great job in terms of nullifying, along with the two centre-halves, um, and closing the space down. A lot of people won't see that, um, but, you know, he, I thought he'd done a great job and, and, and really restricted them to, to, so they couldn't link up and play and, and, and get any rhythm. Yeah, and uh, up top, we, we gave Davis a free roll for the first 30 minutes, um, and he'd done really well. But we just felt that late, later in that first half, there was a lot of switches coming out, so we went to a 4-3-3, and, uh, and it worked for us, and I thought the guys were great today. You mentioned there the defence as well, of course, with uh, William Edgingelly coming into at centre half, Paul Dixon going out to left back. Basically, a, a new look back four and keeper, but I thought as a unit, they looked really strongly together. They did, you know. Um, We've done a lot of work on Friday. Um, like I say, Harry's been great, but I, knew, I know all about William and I know Paul Dixon inside out. Um, and young Kieran's done great. He's only a young boy. He's only starting to play some some regular football and, and Jordan. So we went with that shape today because we know the we know we know what um, Queen of the South can can do. But we worked hard on that. We worked hard on our set pieces against today, and I thought they were fantastic. So overall, listen, we didn't have anybody on the park that that, that didn't play well. So it's, it's a really good day all around. 1-0 at half time potentially I thought actually it could have been more than that yeah I think uh, I think we, we created some really good opportunities um, I think Demi done great down the left hand side a few times we could have been um, it wasn't um, and we just had to make sure in the second half we were focused because we know the threat that they've got and uh, but the boys were fantastic and uh, they, they, they worked extremely hard for that win today and they were determined to get that win today 2-0 to the good and then of course it reduced to 10 men were you, were you nervous at all at that stage I was I'm not, not telling any lies. Um, it's always difficult when you, you go down to 10 men. Um, and 2 0 is it's one of them funny score lines. The next team that scores that goal, you know, there's a, a real momentum with them. And uh, I thought this could be a nervy, nervy 15 minutes, but fair, fair play to them, you know. Jordan McGee does great, bursts forward, and, uh, you know, uh, the ball breaks to, to Demi, who does well and finishes. So I was glad to see that going. For a, a potent strike force, as you mentioned earlier, you know, Stephen Doby and Lyndon Dykes. I can't recall a game where I've seen them so quiet. Yeah, listen, obviously they went to beat Dundee during the week, he scored a hat-trick. He, he's a phenomenal player at this level and uh, he's such a talent and every time he gets the ball, especially Stephen Dobby, um, you think there's something going to happen. So we had to make sure that we gave ourselves the best opportunity to win the game of today. And I, I know we'd probably like to go gung-ho, and but we had to make sure we keep it tight at the back end. And, uh, you know, as I said, I thought Abdul done great in that, that role today. And the two centre-halves as well, you know. So the three of them protecting uh, and, and covering each other were excellent and that gave us a foundation of going to win. Now, Zach Rudden's usually been the, the goal scorer for Falkirk in most weeks, with mm -hmm. due respect to the other boys. But how pleasing is it the fact that the goals were spread around today and, uh, and Zach wasn't amongst them? Yeah, I'm delighted. Um, it's important that we, we take the burden off Zach. Um, he, he's been a, a, a talisman, as you want to say, at 18 years of age for the first half of the season. And, uh, you know, he works so hard um, and he, he, he's won so many points for us. So it's important that we had players that can come in and take the burden off him. And Davis, it's a fantastic header and, uh, and I'm sure he'll score goals for us. Demi, it was good to see him get that goal. So, you know, I'm really pleased about three different scorers. And just finally, of course, we look forward to next week now. Suddenly, bottom of the league, a couple of points, and I think it's only about a handful of points between three or four teams now. It's getting a bit tasty, isn't it? It is. It's a, it's a very competitive league. We're, we're just delighted that we've managed to get ourselves in a position to give ourselves an opportunity because, you know, it's been it's been a very, very difficult first half of the season. I think everybody will agree on that. It's been, it's been hard. It's been a grind. It's going to be a grind to the end of the season, make no bones, but we've given ourselves a real opportunity. And, uh, you know, once, like I said, I'll just finish with this. I'm absolutely delighted for the fans today because they've been so patient with us, especially at home. But they can see that we're trying, and uh, I think that's that's the biggest thing for them. But I'm delighted we got the, the result for them. Well, Ray, congratulations on the win, and thanks for your time. No worries, guys. Cheers.